this week's blogger is Paul Williams from uh, Arsenal. Uh, well, he's, uh, there's a few bloggers you'll find at arsenalmania.com. Uh, Paul is one of them and uh, joins us on the line now. Paul, uh, good to have you with us, mate. Let me just fire that at you. Clichy and Sagna, Sanya, discuss. <laughs> <laughs> um, I thought, uh, well, clichy has been struggling since he came back, but I actually thought he played well on uh, Wednesday mm. night. I thought mm. that was a really good performance from him. Um, Sanya, I'm a Sanya fan. Um, not so much of an Ibue fan, but um, I think Ibue had a good game on Wednesday and maybe provided a bit of attacking thrust that Sanya hasn't. Yeah. I don't know. I, um, I, Sanya's a bit off foot, but he's been struggling with an injury, hasn't he? So. Yeah, absolutely. Well, and I'm not sure that Clichy is 100% over injury uh, mm. either. You know, it, to be honest, the gaffer hasn't had much choice. With Kieran Gibbs out injured, he hasn't had much okay. choice. Yeah. Uh, but, to, but to play him. Because uh, certainly against anybody quick, Mikel Sylvester would, would probably struggle at, uh, mm. at left back. But uh, you probably haven't been right. I, I think you can understand, though, why, why we're asking about him. Because basically you look at it and you think, well, those are the two best fullbacks playing in England at the moment. The best pair of fullbacks. And yet you're looking at them and thinking, hang on, last season they were, you know, they're not quite at the level they have been at. Yeah, I, I said maybe there's been a collective loss of defensive focus. I mean, we were talking about that last week, really. Um, it's difficult. Yeah. I, I blame a lot of it on the goalkeeper, but maybe, <laughs> maybe that's just me. Yeah, I blame the parents myself. <laughs> um, Paul, <laughs> uh, you, do you, we didn't get you on to talk about the fullbacks. Just as we'd had that email, I just thought I'd run it by you. Obviously, we want to know what you've been blogging about this week. Um. Well, obviously, the Chelsea game at the start of the week, um, I was a little bit calmer about that than the Man United game. Yeah, um, me too. The guys did their best. They let themselves down defensively a little bit, but I think apart from two um, lapses, they played really well. And um, again, we were saying this last week, without Nicholas Bentner in the starting lineup, it was going to be tough. Yeah. Um, and so it proved, really. Um, but, again, he made a bit of a difference when he came on. And um, Chelsea are just... I mean, they're so, but their strengths seem to be uh, directly directly in line with our weaknesses, yeah. I, I think. No, I, know, I, I think you're right. I think you're right. And, uh, you know, the point I've made in my blog is it's, it's almost like when Mourinho came to Chelsea... He created a team that was specifically designed to beat us because when he came in, we were we were at the top of the tree. Really, we were the team to beat. Yes. So um, I, I always get that feeling with Chelsea. Is they're like our perfect nemesis. Yeah, yeah. Uh, actually, it's a very, very good point, Paul. And it's, it's also a way of looking at. And I'll, ju I'll just bring the lads in here. It's, it's, it's another way of looking. At this because we were talking earlier about the whole kind of money thing and going out and spending a lot of money on players and big. You know, people people always go on. They go, oh, well, Arsenal aren't, aren't spending the money to keep up with Man United, with Chelsea, with Liverpool, with whoever. They're not spending the money to keep up. When the fact of the matter is that Liverpool, Chelsea, Man United, that lot down the road, and a few others, they have been spending money hand over fist ever since Arsene Wenger arrived in English football to keep up with us. You know, I, I, I think you're absolutely right about Mourinho, that he did, you know, that that, that was the the template was, because yeah, I think United have always played. United are, are, by instinct, are an attacking team. They go out to win every game and they go out to dominate games of football. Uh, don't sit in, by and large, and, and, and look to pick teams up, uh, off on the break. And th those clubs, those clubs that have spent money, have been spending the money keeping up with us. It's not the other way around. Do you, you get I think Chelsea saying. as well. You look in the net. I mean, I know you say they have spent money in the sort of period of five years, but in the last couple of years, they've not really spent. And they've that team now. There's a if Abramovich wants Chelsea to be what they've been in the last five years, in the next five years, he's going to have to spend a lot of money at some point because there's no. I don't see a huge amount. There's Kakuta. There's one or two. Mancien might get in. There's not that many coming through, mm -hmm. and. That, I think Chelsea have got a big rebuilding job to do. OK, they've, they've got away with it this season, maybe next season, maybe 
even one more, but you know, long term in the next five years, and uh, I've, there's no real sign that Abramovich is going to spend 200 million again. He, no. did, he did that when he came in, yeah. and he's going to have to do it again because I don't see how else Chelsea are going to stay there, which is great news if you're an Arsenal fan. You just have to be a bit patient, and maybe it will. Uh, but I do, I do think Chelsea look look the most vulnerable in in out of Chelsea and Man United yeah, they're, they're, lo- yeah. longer term. Like an aging team. I know that yeah. when they're on their game now and in this moment when they're on their game and everyone's fit, they're very powerful. Very like they they did a number really on Barcelona last year, didn't they? When in the, they were the only team really in the Champions League that that looked like they could. You know, they were pretty unlucky against Barcelona, and they seem to have that style against Arsenal as well. But in the next year or two, I don't see how they're going to going to keep up without spending big money. Mm. I don't think Abramovich, has, he's not really, no, done, no, it. No, he's they, not really they, done it in the but last but two they, years. But, 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 but there you go, you know, the Barcelona thing, got to score goals, Barcelona yeah, scored. Yeah. But, uh, you know, it, it, it's, I agree with you, with the, with the, and I think uh, as fast as things come, they can go. And I think some people like Abramovich, let, let's see what happens there in the future. I think you know, I was looking at Man United the other day and, you know, with their new regime and there's this, they were wearing their original scarves from the first, hate glaziers, hate, the things that happen at Liverpool, uh, well, and obviously Portsmouth at the moment. And there's probably other clubs who are keeping silent about, yeah, their, yeah. about their big problems at the moment. And again, although we're like, just spend 20 million and get a plan, when I'm seeing all this, and you just see this, this, this <laughs> Mr. Wenger, you know, and so, like I say, and not, at times, just get a striker, spend some big money, get a striker. And when I see all this going on, it is, it's good to look at the team and go, you know what, we're around, I think we're around for many, many years, mm. we're, safely. And right now with what's going on, you know, there's a lot of other teams. This, and he predicted this, I don't know if he, it was only last season, he said, there'd, there'd be, you wait and see, there'll be a few teams in the Premiership is going to get liquidation. Be really, and, uh, it'll you be know. really interesting to see how it pans out in the next two, three, four years go. because if this Arsenal team can stay together, that's ev- the, that's everyone's the, going to have to thing. be pretty patient there because it's, the it's still only 22, 23, so you're talking possibly a year, two, three, four years. I but mean, that, that was, six that, years between... He said Chelsea, 29 average age, wasn't it? There's six yeah. years difference. Yeah. So it's quite a long... It's still, it's st- you still might have to wait a little... A, a, yeah, a tiny and, bit and of time. what isn't going but to happen is that everybody else is going to suddenly fall apart. It's no, not, no, no, it's not like it's going to, you know, yeah. and suddenly we'll be there like yeah. last man standing. It ain't going to quite work. We no. need this team to grow. We need this team to win one trophy is what we need. Yeah, yeah. 